What's good y'all, Melody Doctor in the building. In this video I'm gonna show you guys how to make a bell melody. So we're gonna make a melody, if you will. <laughs> uh, we're gonna to go to Citrus, Citrus Presets. Go ahead, hit them presets. And then there's a whole section here for bells. So bell, let's just review that one. We're going to add, we're choosing Citrus. You can put this in alphabetical order. I always do that, change it to simple. It's a lot easier to find plugins that way if you just know the name. And then Citrus. And then uh, again, just go into the uh, go into the presets, bell. You see the whole bell section here. So we can just start here. You can actually just shuffle through them here. So these are all bells. It's just going down the list. So these are all the bells. There's even a taco bell. And it gets the brass, so you can just go through these, pick your favorite one, and just start the melody off. This one sounds pretty cool. I say, like, a bell makes more sense if you just play, like, notes like that instead of, like, chords. But, I mean, you can play chords, too, at the same time. I'm gonna do something like that. You can see the notes I'm playing here. And I always try to stay true to the BPM that I originally played in. So like, so I'm gonna see like what's gonna match that, you know? So like, find that BPM. It's just like a tad slower and then just record usually set it to half beat um, that's how I like to do it and get it going so what I usually do is I either go up then down basically with this lower note this is how it's gonna how it looks right now watch but like I usually go either up then down or down then up you see that a lot in, in, in music, so it's not just me doing this. But um, it's important to know your hotkeys too. So, um, but let's see, G, put that one there. And then we're just going to copy this. I call this one the ghost. It's when you highlight notes and you hold down shift. So holding down shift and bring that over. And then we can just control D, deselect. So we're gonna replace that, this note with that note, that note with this note. And let's see how it sounds. Pretty good, huh? All right, go ahead, uh, make that an eight bar. So I always try to make melodies sound better when they're just longer and more interesting in general. Um, and not like super long. So eight, eight is good. Eight, I do most of the time. 16 you can do, uh, but starting a melody off, I would just do eight. You can also like play with some of these higher notes. So like play with these as well. So I could go. Maybe even add like a double there. That's cool. And um, another last touch I would do is Alt A, and then Alt R. This is the randomizer, and um, yeah, randomizer will randomize the velocities, so you don't need to worry about all this up here. But you can mess with this; it'll randomize the velocities. I try not to overdo it too much, so I I just add like a touch, so it just sounds a little bit more realistic. Then panning is panning is good with melodies too. That's panning is just when it goes in your left and right ear. So um, panning is good too, but again, I just I'm real subtle with it. I actually I usually instead of panning, I usually use the separation knob here. And usually melodies you want to pull out, so that's that makes it more wide versus like in. So the in super wide, you kind of want to like. 
you're just gonna use your ears for that there's really no like number some melodies just sound are more wide like when they're uh produced in fl or whatever wherever you're getting your melody from so yeah i mean um and this honestly sounds pretty good already but what you can do is um well let me just show the mixing part first and then and then we'll cover layering so mixing this is melody mixing melody mixing is really easy and pretty much the same every time you want to cut the low end out and you also want to mix without harming the initial sound so like that's a that's a big one right there you don't want to you don't want to just start rationally cutting irrationally cutting off spots spots where it messes up the sound so what i'll do is all right that sounds about the same so usually you cut out the low end to leave room for the bass If you think it's cutting off too much, you can adjust the peak or the step, like the how. That still sounds good. I kind of do the same thing with the high end. Leave room for the snare. And honestly, like high end doesn't sound very good with melodies. Like, it can be kind of annoying. That's one thing I found out. So that's good. Um, I love using reverb. I, I use reverb like almost every single time. And it works like almost every single time. So just adding reverb. I just go to the Convolver. There's like a thousand presets here. And like, honestly, I've never gone through all of these. Um, they're, they're like so weirdly specific, like cool chamber. Like, you want a unique melody, go with the cool chamber or something like that, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I always just test and be like, does it sound better or worse? Honestly, this sound kind of already has a lot of reverb on it. This might be one of those few examples where I really don't need it, but... Yeah, I'll we'll probably take it out, actually. Um, there's other cool reverbs you can try, especially in Patcher. So Patcher has some good reverbs. There's this 1K reverb here, which is dope. I like this one a lot. Really gives it like a Astro-like feel. It's actually like one of my favorite effects. Just turn that up. Make things sound real majestic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, we'll come back to that. And then you can use like an automation clip. But that's just, that's just about as much as the mixing as you want. And then, you know, the limiter. You don't really need the limiter because it's the same sound, but when you, usually when you're mixing, if you layer other sounds, um, you'll want to you, you'll want to use this to cut off like higher parts, but we don't really need it here. So that's pretty much that. I mean, it's, it's a nice like raw sound that you can you can go on with this. I'll just show you a bit of the layering, and then that'll be it for this uh, video. So to layer, I always try to layer melodies at least at least try to layer melodies. It doesn't always work out. So sometimes your layer melody just doesn't sound better, but if it sounds better, it sounds better. So, you know, that's really like the risk involved, uh, like, like a lot of risks, like if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But if it does work, you know, it makes your beat better. So, um, what you can do is just paste, copy the pattern paste. You could layer it with really whatever, but logically it's going to want, you're going to want to layer with a pad. Or an ARP, but these ARPs aren't very good. There's other ARPs and other like VSTs I've used, like Electro X, where it just sounds better, but not these. So you can have like a double bell here. You sound cool. That's actually a piano. Oh snap. But let's go to the wait, what the fuck was that? What? Oh! That's a bell too, okay. Taco Bell. Oh they have to do Taco Bell like that. That's like the worst sound in citrus. <laughs> Are they allowed to do that? Is that legal? I don't know. Um 
like that one too. But if one's fe if I'm feeling one, I'll go with it. But like again, let's let's try to lay it with pads. See how that sounds. This would be another good one you could try. I like this too. Oh, I like this one a lot actually. I'll probably go with this one. So, you know, I'll just relax and just go through these till you find one that just, you're like, oh, I like that one. Like, the key with layering is literally to not settle. That's key with a lot of things in life. But the key with layering is to just not settle. So, like, if you're not satisfied with something, just keep, keep it pushing. And then also have the ability to be like, all right, you know. So you guys can just go through those, you know, I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, what you can do is like this and be like, does it sound better or worse? I feel like this adds a little bit more life to it. That's that's really that, y'all. That's really that. So I'm going I'm to keep this short. Um, that's bell melody. You know, of course, at this point, you could add different type of sounds like guitar you know the bass obviously drums um and keep it going but that's it for the melody guys bell melody tutorial brought to you by melody doctor <laughs> thanks for uh, tuning in guys make sure you guys subscribe check out the book link in the description definitely check that book out melody doctor in the building peace out